This video is a tutorial on how to set up the YD LiDAR software development kit on your machine, whether that's a Raspberry Pi, which is my current workstation, or other workstations. And uh, the main focus for this uh, tutorial is to look at how we can set and use the software development kit that comes with the YD LiDAR. And this video is part of a medium uh, tutorial series on how to use ROS with YD LiDAR and even use the software development kit of the YD LiDAR in uh, a Raspberry Pi environment which is an Ubuntu based uh, or Debian based OS system. First things first, what are the requirements needed to install this software development kit onto our environment? To use the code that I've used in this installation tutorial, you can find it in the Medium article linked in the description below, and you can also use the GitHub repository of the software development kit as reference. This software development kit can be used to uh, or installed in two work environments, either a Windows environment or a Linux environment, but since the workstation that I currently have is of a Raspberry Pi that's flashed with Debian, I will be following the installation guide for Ubuntu, which should be the same for all Linux systems. So the way we will be setting up the software development kit for YD LiDAR is through getting the environment ready through installations and then building that environment up. First, we need to clone the GitHub repository of the software development kit, the YD LiDAR software development kit, into our terminal. And I'll first do that through installing git and using git to clone that repo. Afterwards, we are going to install CMake as YD LiDAR requires CMake 2.8.2 plus as dependencies. We can install these packages through using apt, so sudo apt install CMake package pkg dash config. To make sure that we have installed the YD LiDAR software development kit onto our workstation, we can use the ls command, which basically lists all the uh, directories within the current directory and uh, we can see that we have yd lidar underscore sdk installed into our directory and then we can go ahead and install cmake as well and as we want to use their python api we need to install python and swig 3.0 or higher so we can do that through sudo apt get install python swig sudo apt get install python pip after initializing and making sure that our environment is all ready, we can go ahead and build the YD, YD LiDAR software development kit through, through going into the YD LiDAR software development kit directory, so cd yd lidar dash sdk, and then cding into build, and then cmake dot dot to cmake, and then make, and then sudo make install.
We then install the Python API through uh, going back into the YD, YD LiDAR software development kit directory through CDing back into it, and we can do that in two ways, either through CD YD LiDAR dash SDK or CD dot dot, which essentially means go back to the older folder that we used to be in before CDing into build. And CD is just essentially a Linux command to go into a directory. And of course, to install the Python API, we would need to say pip install and then dot. And you're done. But let us test our installation. To do so, we need to navigate our way to the examples folder, and the examples for folder is nested within the YD LiDAR SDK folder, and then we navigate to Python and then to examples, and that's where we can find the different examples that we can utilize to run our or to uh, start our LiDAR sensor and get sensor readings. But before that, we need to make some modification to the code in those examples based on the X4's hardware specification or your li YD LiDAR specification, hardware specifications. So if you could have, for example, the X2 or the G4 uh, YD LiDAR uh, hardware, so you need to modify the code as per your hardware requirements and specifications. And based on the data sheet for the X4's hardware, we can see that the scanning frequency is in the range of 6 to 12 hertz. And the baud rate is about 128,000. It's very important to set these values in the code as correctly as possible and especially the baud rate, which is essentially the speed of communication over data channel, correctly in the Python examples, as we if, if we don't, we will not be able to read the transmitted data because we're not reading it at the same rate that, it, that we are receiving it. And that's exactly what we will do. We will be opening up our file management system and navigating into our YD LiDAR SDK folder and into our Python folder, then our examples folder, where we'll, we will see a list of Python files uh, with different examples that we can use. We will be modifying the YD LiDAR underscore uh, test.py folder, as it's the one that we will be, be using later on when we run the Python script after modification and we said we will modify two things which is the frequency and here we specified it as the six as we saw in the data sheet and the baud rate as 128,000. and after modifying the code let's let's go back into the python folder and examples folder and then run the yd lidar underscore test dot pi file and we can see that if all is well a series of readings will be printed out now what if we wanted to visualize the lidar point cloud 
To do that, we need to first install NumPy. And to prevent backports or errors in the backports, we need to install matplotlib and specify that the version we would like to install is 2.0.2. And of course, we need to also install sudo apt-get install python-gi-cairo to prevent any er errors from popping up. And once we've got all the required dependencies and packages installed, then we can simply run python plot underscore ydlidar underscore test dot pi to visualize rather than printing out those uh, series of point cloud data. And that's a wrap. With that, we've set up the YD LiDARs SDK. And this is a crucial step if you'd like to use ROS with YD LiDAR, or even through using the YD LiDAR in, in Python. Thank you as always for watching and hope to see you in the next one.